Blessings, brothers and sisters. How are you? I hope you're all doing fine. I've missed you all. Here are some reoccurrence uh, numbers, reoccurrences that when I, um, for example, I'll show you if I start the telephone. I mean, if I switch it off now, so I'll stop recording so I can't exactly show you. But when I pick up the phone, for example, in the morning or had put it down and then I take it in my hand again and open it, then the home screen will show me certain numbers like these ones. You see, I'll just go quickly through them. And the reason I see significance in them is uh, this. Don't worry about the picture in the background because that's the Jonathan Click channel that I was watching when I was streaming it on my TV. So it always leaves a logo in the back. That's the um, locus of the uh, bottomless pit from Jonathan Click channel. I all advise you to watch his channel because he must be a true prophet for sure. And you see, but anyway, what I was getting at is these um, reoccurring uh, numbers, which are um, very much the same uh, kind of numbers. I mean, very even numbers, shall I call them. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And if I check them up in the Bible, then uh, it's like a way I think the Father is talking to us or to me. You see here, I just switched off the telephone, started it one day. Not on purpose, obviously, you know, not looking for the numbers, but when as I start the telephone, switch on the telephone, then I see these kind of numbers occurring. You see, this is what I mean about even, like 17, 17, um, 22, 22. Sometimes they are like this as well, obviously, because there are more numbers to the Bible than just all, all the same. But like here, you see. Now, if there were, if if the time could have a five here, there would be like five, 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 five. But there is no time like that. So, you know. But anyway, you see, like here as well, oh two, oh two, uh, oh seven, oh seven. Now you guys might think, oh yeah, but you you just uh, filmed it that way or you recorded it that way. No, brothers and sisters, I was literally starting my telephone, and these kind of numbers come up. A lot of them, which I've already. Like here as well, this this number has reoccurred many times, 1333. If you look it up in the Strong's Concordance or your Bible, you'll be able to see what it might mean. Also under Revelation, you know, Revelation 13. Um, anywhere, it, it, you know, you, you just have to look it all up, you know, under Revelation, under the Bible, under Strong, Strong Concordance, and see what you make of it yourself. These messages are maybe pointed at me myself but also at the same time i like to share them because they could be to us all you see here again 1333 this is the second time you know it's 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 popped up and like i say i was starting my telephone this number came up so you see here tuesday january the 14th this 1333 came up and if we back a few days in the future here there you see sunday january the 19th go back again and here tuesday january the 14th now what is the chance of that that 1333 you're gonna start your telephone at that show and he shows up and here as well you see even numbers 15 15 you see the dates always here sunday january the 12th and here again uh this this one i think i showed you before sunday or was it a wait a minute sunday january the 12th what is it here tuesday january the 14th um sunday january the 19th oh there you see a, a really a strange thing here you see sunday january the 19th is where i got it and i've got this number before this date as well but let's see, let's just see under january how many times i got it. this 1333 under under the month of january so you got sunday january the 19th i got 1333 as i started my telephone and all these other numbers as well here and 1333 again Tuesday, January the 14th. Now, what could be the message that the Father is trying to show here? And Sunday, January 12th, 1333 again. And like I say, brothers and sisters, I promise you, I'm not trying to start the telephone at 1333. I've just been doing it and I realized, oi, here's the number again. And another day I started it again, oi, here's the number again. And you see here as well, even numbers again. Saturday, January the 11th, 12, 12222. Um, like 222, uh, 1222. You can also look that up in the Bible, Strong Concordance, or see if Revelation has anything to do with it as well. Amen. And here again, you see even numbers, 1444. And you always see the date when I receive them. 
1444. That's twice I got that, didn't I? Eight. And the, no, that's the eight. That's I got two, two pictures of it. Sorry. But you see here again, even number 6 6, Wednesday, January the 8th, 144, 745, 16 16 there, 949 there, 744, 23 23. You see, always see the dates. And you guys look them up and see what the significance is with the dates and the numbers in the Strong Concordance Bible or Revelation. Here we go. Yeah, we are looking at my uh, my uh, picture catalog, you know, so excuse me, some of the pictures. See, 1555, Friday, December 27th. Again, even numbers, 1515. Now, what would be the chance of that? 1555, that's pretty, pretty even. 1515, very even. Um, sorry about these ones. Here you go, 1111 as well. Um, sorry, I got just my picture diary here. All right, I think that's about it. So, brothers and sisters, here is a, a, a little list that, you know, it's been... Um, I always take a, a screenshot of the uh, dates that I get. I think the our father is speaking to me, to us this way, by numbers and by looking at them up in the Bible. And here you see all the reoccurrence numbers. I'll just show you my private um, picture files here. Some pictures that I've taken, obviously, from when I do these uh, skies for the channel. And that's about it for now. So thank you for watching. And all glory be to Yahusha and Yahuwah, our salvation, our redeemer as you call also in Jesus Christ, yod hey vav hey. God bless you, and I'll see if I can do the prophetic messages for you soon again, because I feel empty without them. There was a discussion about whether I should do them or not. Um, the more I think about it, I am worried to do them, because I don't know 100% guarantee that they are from our Father, but I've been, you know, I've been listening to them, I've been asking you, brothers and sisters, uh, about them. Some of you have said that... Uh, that uh, this source might be um, the kind of source like uh, where they get the information from uh, Catholic churches or they they pray to Mary, um, like like, like <clears throat> the Love Letters from Jesus uh, channel on YouTube. But there are other channels as well, like the Shorman Ben Yeshua channel, which I've basically taken over. I've already explained that I've taken it over because it was our brother's will there on the channel that one of his humble listeners would humbly take the messages over and I did but after about a year of doing them being attacked by people telling me how do you know that this is from the father and not something else so I've I kind of got cold feet please pray for me and I haven't done them as you know for about two and a half months almost three but I feel empty without them and I'm sure you guys feel empty about them so please pray for me because I'm not trying to deceive anybody and I'm not trying to talk from anyone else but the father and i pray that they are from the father i've tried to discern them myself the words that are being spoken and i do not find anything wrong with the words whatsoever i find them to be uplifting uh, make you feel closer to the father and the words are are in my eyes i mean I'm, I'm just a new christian so but i mean i find them to be biblical anyway i don't find anything wrong with what's being said there there are no wrong teachings there as i can see but please, brothers and sisters, you always discern the messages yourself that are going to be spoken. And if you find anything that is unbiblical or not true, then please tell me immediately so I can uh, repent and apologize and take it off the channel straight away. Because as you know, by, by, by being with me all these years or any newcomer should know that I always try to do the channel with a humble heart. I'm a new Christian. I'm not a pastor. I'm not a prophet. I'm just humbly trying to serve because I love our Father as you do, and I'm trying to do whatever I can. And I had a lot of brothers and sisters telling me that the uh, prophetic messages were also uplifting. They they helped them uh, list, to listen to them. So I think we all miss them. And I think the Father has blessed me, at least in the way I speak the, the words. Uh, they seem to be um, full of warmth. If, if I just say that, if I may just say that, I don't try to give myself credit, but 
when I listen to it afterwards, it has a lot of warmth, in-depth, in-depth warmth. So what does that mean? It, I don't know what it might mean. It just means that it's nice to hear them from an in-depth voice, which would resemble the kindness and the warmth of our Father. So all glory goes to the Father, not none to me. My name is not important. Some of you know my name already, but that's not what's important. What's important that, that we do the Father's work and uh, to serve him. So please pray for me that I'll be blessed and that I'll be gifted to do his work. And I'll have the prophetic messages for you soon. Love you lots. Take care and bless you.